It's a play in its own right. If you've never read Pride and Prejudice, it, you can absolutely enjoy it and get the story. I was surprised by how funny and lively and, and how much of a sort of page turner it was as I was reading it, um, which definitely lent itself towards the sensibility of where the set is, is going to have it, have it feel fresh and modern. We're sort of set in two rooms. There's the, the kind of main drawing room area and then there's a library. Um, so we've, we've tried to set it up as like semi-private spaces so that um, uh, you can be in the library and not really hear a conversation in the drawing room. There's a Christmas tree in this room and when most of the characters walk in the door they're like, what is a tree doing inside? It's this totally weird thing, which is funny for us now to think about that because it's, it's such a normal thing for Christmas. Um, but there's, there's some humor in the play around that, about this giant tree inside. So we're gonna have some, some boxes of snow, basically, that will live up in the catwalks that uh, we call them shaker boxes, because they shake, and as they shake, they just kind of like gently let the snow out dur during the course of the show. Uh, so it's you know, one of the sort of like theater tricks of how we make it look like it's snowing throughout the play. It's sort of the Pride and Prejudice version of a, of a kind of Hamilton treatment, where it's, it's taking this, this story that is you know, based in this literary tradition, but given this very modern treatment uh, for a 2018 audience to enjoy.